Okay, so I lost my Camtasia file, um, so I have to do it again. Here on my remote server, I'm clicking to open up Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new website. It's an empty website and I'm using Visual Basic. I'm going to change my project name. We will be last name project two. Um, so here using today's state. And click OK. So only the web doc config right now. So I'm going to um, go into the project folder I just created. So one is has the solution file, the other one has only the web doc config. I'm going to copy paste the some existing items, not all, from my project one. So I only want the image folder, the script and style folder that has script, uh, JavaScript and style for the jQuery slideshow and pasting here. Okay, so um, I'm also going to need the global.css but not the global.js that's going to be replaced with server site functions. Okay, and none of the HTML um, code because I'm going to copy paste the content over. So once I'm in here, I click the refresh button. And I see all the items, existing items that I uh, copy in. And now I'm ready to make my master page. Add a new item, select master page. You can just keep the default name since we're only creating one. Bunch of code automatically uh, created, we just can't um, remove all of it. Okay, so for the body, we're gonna need so back to the project one home page. I'm going to copy all the way from doc type to including the header, uh, the head section, wrapper, header, including navigation all the way to the opening content tag. So back to my server, I'm going to copy paste in here. And I'm going to end the content. I'm going to make some comments so it's clear to myself. And I'm going to end the wrapper uh, Div as well. And also copy paste from it, but it's, this code is too small, so I'm just gonna hold it. And then here's the footer, goes after the content, but before the wrapper ends. So there you go. So there we have the skeleton of it, and with the style, put it in, and it will look like like this. So before we go more, uh, we need a update to the links because it's all going to be ASPX page going to link it to. This is for navigation. And um, I'm going to copy the link for the home. Actually, it will be default ASPX. The ID here is just for here um, for my styles later. Uh, you don't need to use it if you don't want to. Uh, and then one more thing is that I want to uh, create a, which is important, in the content tag. This is where the customized content will go into for each page. So I need a content placeholder to tell each page that this is the um, dynamic <coughs> content for each page going to go in. So this is called content placeholder one. You can drag and drop the content placeholder control from the standard toolbox. If you don't see the toolbox, click the view, you will select and view it in your workspace. So now I save all. Okay. And I have this box as content placeholder and I'm ready to create my first page, web form, and just leave it as the default I expect. Check here to select master page. And it's the only one to select, and you can see that without coding anything. Okay, back to save all the changes by clicking here. So now master page is included. Um, 
without quoting anything, I already have content on my default ISPX. So if I go into source, it's just the first line showing that I'm using this master page, and second line will be content placeholder one, which is the same as in the master page. So now, in between these two tags, I can copy and paste into my specific content unique to the specific page, which is the home page, starting from within the content tag, right? So content and add content. So this part, I'm going to highlight it, copy and paste in here, OK? So now I'll save all, and you can see that the I copy paste it. Yes. And so before I uh, run it to test it, I'm going to create another page, the support page, which is similar. And select similarly, it's like the same master page. And in between here, I copy and paste. So at this point, I don't care about the header footer, anything like that. I'm just going to care about the content in between my content block. Copy, going back here, paste it. Okay, and then we're gonna, one more thing, right click on the first page you wanna start, set as start page. Now I'm ready to test it for the first time, just click OK, enable debugging. You can also optionally, without debugging, you just show you the line where it breaks. Um, either way, it's fine at this point. And First page shows and the slideshow is working. That's the home page. Footer is also there. And then if you click on support, and support page is there as well. Footer, same footer, same location, and the links all work. Okay. So this is the master page with two um, new pages created. And you go ahead and create the rest of the page for the products and contact us and subscribe. Uh, there are server side codes that do not copy paste the original content from HTML. Uh, for content us only copy the part that shows the office address and the map. And then for the rest of it will be the later steps we add in the server side code.